As you can tell, I'm not in Newcastle today. Just have a look at the backdrop, look at the ocean, the blue sky. Well, that doesn't really fit with the English weather, doesn't it? So that's why I thought it was quite fitting, because today I'm going to talk about why the ocean and also why the sky is blue and what causes that. So what's the science behind it? Well, the Maldives is quite interesting. For someone who is Dutch, who thought my country was quite low. Actually, the reports of the lowest or the highest points, I have to cut to say, vary between two and a half to five meters above sea level. So not that quite impressive. No real hills or mountains here. Now let's come back to the blue color. As you know from a rainbow, you can see that actually light is not one specific color. It's divided into different wavelengths. And each wavelength gives a specific color that we can see. The thing is with a glass of water, when you see it from up close, it's completely transparent. You don't see anything. But if you look from space or if you look from a distance, the ocean appears blue. So why is that? The same for the sky. It's not that much more of the other colors are absorbed. It's got to do with the scattering. So remember, we have the blue, which is the shorter wavelength, and red, which is the longer wavelengths. And because the blue is scattered in more directions in the daytime, you see more of that scattering and you see more of the blue when you look at the horizon. It's different though when the sun starts to set, because it's not above you, it goes lower and it's got to travel more. So you see more of what's not scattered the most. And because the red is scattered less, you see more of that actually. Not many clouds in the sky today, but why are the clouds then white? Well, in these clouds you have got particles which are bigger than the wavelength of light, which means that every color is scattered more or less in the same amount. So you see everything together and that's why you see it as white. And here at the end of the video, let's appreciate a little bit of the Maldivian sunset and understand why it goes from blue to nice red and then it becomes dark. 